This video is sponsored by Rockland Flooring. Visit our website for more information. This year at Work Truck Week, Peterbilt rolled in with a few bold updates to their medium duty lineup. From high visibility LED headlights to major powertrain news, we caught up with product marketing director Jake White to check it all out. Peterbilt brought a large display to its booth this year in the Indianapolis Convention Center. Snow plows, dump trucks, a crane truck, an EV chassis, and more. But Jake tells us one big update may be hard to see at first, even if it makes things easier for drivers to see. Really great piece of technology that we're showcasing this year are the new LED headlights on our medium duty product line. Provide best in class performance, the beam is really clean, really smooth, and you can see way, way, way down the road. Also really neat feature on these LED headlights is an integrated heating element in the lens. That's a pretty cool snow plow right here and operates in some pretty difficult uh, environments. And LED headlights don't give off as much heat as halogen headlights. So one of the benefits of this is it's able to clear that ice and snow from the lens to keep that clean vision of the road. The system is plug and play and so easy to install even Jake says he can do it, which means I might have a shot at figuring it out. It's extremely easy. You know, in fact, I am even uh, <laughs> capable of doing this. So it's uh, pretty quick. There's some four turn fasteners on the splash shield, and then it, it literally is plug and play uh, from halogen to LED. Inside the cab of the Model 567, Peterbilt is showing off its seven inch infotainment system including Apple CarPlay, navigation, and support for multiple upfitted camera views. It's also got Apple CarPlay, which has been a feature that customers have been looking for out of us for a while. It also has configurable camera displays that can be upfit in the vehicle and provide nice clear view all the way around the truck. White also highlighted Peterbilt's quiet, spacious cab, digital instrument display, and smart wheel, all focused on helping drivers stay alert and comfortable very important for them to have their eyes up and focused on what's going on around them. There's more than one way to power a Peterbilt, and the list of powertrain options is getting longer with an upcoming Cummins B6.7 gas engine option. So out in the ride and drive, we've actually got a medium duty truck with the new Cummins B6.7 octane engine. So that runs on 87 octane gasoline, mm -hmm. just like a passenger car. Very simple after treatment system. And it's also CARB compliant mm. and EPA 27 compliant early. Unfortunately, dear viewers, I failed you. I didn't have time to test Peterbilt's gas truck at the show. However, Jake says the B6.7 Octane aims to offer diesel-like longevity with gas engine simplicity. So Cummins has really put pen to paper and a lot of testing and R&D mm -hmm. to develop a gasoline engine that has the performance characteristics that vocational work trucks need, but also the durability that they absolutely have to have. That gas truck will be available to order this year with production starting in 2026. Peterbilt also gave a glimpse at its future forward side with two new additions, the Packar Mobile 60 Charger and the electric model 220 EV. Um, the new item in the booth here though is this Pack Mobile 60 Charger. This is really ideal for a lot of body shops where they need to move the charger around within their facility in order to charge these EV trucks. And um, this one can be mobile like this one, it's on wheels. You can also mount it on a pedestal um, in, in a stationary location. It does require 483 phase, but a lot of body shops have those all, that already. And so it's really an ideal fit for them. The 220 EV shown is fitted with a VersaLift utility body and backed by a customizable battery configuration with lithium iron phosphate chemistry. This is the battery chemistry that we use is lithium iron phosphate, which will absolutely live the life of the truck. Um, the other thing we have that's unique is we're very configurable with our battery options. And so we work with body upfitters to ensure they have the right amount of battery storage on the truck for the job that they need to do. Okay. We've also got EPTO controls to help configure and really make body integration seamless. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another episode of On the Road.